Oh, taken down. But he gets to the ball. Good hustle. There's a cross. It's a header by Zubkov. That's his second of the game, seventh of the season. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our journeyman save following the pattern of Marcelo Bielsa. And let me tell you, Bielsa might have quit this job already. Just maybe. We'll talk about it. Uh, have you ever had one of those days where just things don't go right? So you guys are hope maybe aware of the things going on with my mom. Surgery went well yesterday as well as that surgery can go. Um, but... Uh, you know, I've been kind of uh, flustered since uh, Thursday when we found out this was going to be happening and, and everything else. And, of course, with uh, COVID going on, you can't go to the hospital. So, you know, I didn't travel in to see her because I couldn't get in to see her anyway. And it's just very frustrating and, and, and I'm, you know, anger and, and, you know, everything else going on, you know, but mostly out of concern. And uh, so anyway, but also... I have not done simultaneous saves in a long time, if ever. I don't even know if ever, maybe, but I recorded episode three, which is what this episode is going to be, and I recorded the right matches and the right save, but I was talking about it like it was the other save. I mean, my intro was Welcome to the Netherlands and De Graf Shop and... Just everything was was screwed up. I was gonna just do an intro saying, "Hey, you know, I've just kind of screwed it up." But when I was going to render it, I started listening to the video, and it was like, "Holy crap, everything's wrong! I can't salvage that. I'm just gonna delete it, and we're gonna re-record episode three. But problem is, I have advanced some games, so we're in October. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but anyway, let's get you guys caught up so you know what's going on. So, if we jump into the schedule, the last episode was winning silverware against Shakhtar and then uh, beating Dnipro 1, 4-1. to one. So, we, <laughs> I was coming back for Malmo and Varzim. That was the episode I actually recorded. So, let's get you caught up with what's going on. Uh, we had a 4-0 win over Maripol, and I'll let you guys look at the goal scorers. Uh, Karpati, a 3-1 win. Uh, that Turkish team, we beat them 4-2 in the first leg at home, beat Metal 4-0, and then in the away leg, we lost 3-1, and so we equaled 5-5, and they won on away goals. So we were eliminated uh, from the Euro Cups. But we dropped into Euro Cup 2, Group B. So in that group, we have Malmo, Barzim, and Tranmere. So that's what's happened in the cup run. Uh, then we came back into league action. We beat uh, Krivbos 1-0. And then we beat Malmo 2-1. Looked really good. Carlos Vera with a goal. Ablon Kiev, a 1-1 draw as we start to have some trouble. Kron Marantz, we lost 1-0, and that was our first league loss, and they were bottom of the table. And it was also the first match all season that we did not score a single goal. So I'm a little troubled. Uh, then we went out and beat Varzim 3-1 in cup action. So if we take a look at the cup, we are atop the table with six points, and we play Tranmere <clears throat> in our next match. So that's what's going on there. Now, if we jump over to transfers, so we were in the transfer window. Remember, we took the job. We were, we were already into the transfer window. So I was doing some scouting, hadn't made any moves yet. So the end of July is where we popped in. And we left off. So that's where we were at. So you can see here in August, we sent quite a few players out on loan. And we also sold Marinko Rodic to Hajduk for one and a half million. 
He was a defensive midfielder, 27 years old. Not bad, but he was down the depth chart. Wasn't really going to play a lot for us. So went ahead and took a little money in for him. And then, of course, just to remind you, James Malone was the early move that I made for $23 million. And he forced himself out. He wanted to leave, threw a fit, very unprofessional. We let him go. And then I had one player get mad. Time has passed, in, you know, two months almost. And that player said, okay, I'm fine. And literally the day after that player was okay, another player came and said, oh, I'm pissed off that you sold this guy. And I said, dude, I sold him two months ago. Where have you been? <laughs> so, uh, so that happened. Now, all of these are new incoming players. Now, you may have seen Heidenreich, but we'll go through everybody just to get you caught up. So this is kind of a transfer update. So Heidenreich comes from uh, Berno, 950000 My goal was to have him be our number one keeper, and I still think that's the goal. However, he is... Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's got two shutouts in the Premier League. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to make him my number one keeper. I think I'm going to use the veteran guy, the 33-year-old guy in the Cups, just because he's more of a veteran, and he's actually playing better in the Cups. You can see we're a 6'5 a and a 6'8, but he's playing a 7'2 in, in league action. So he's still going through his language course. So, but I'm going to make Heid, Heid, yeah, Heidenreich our number one keeper in the league, and our other guy is going to be the uh, keeper in cups this year, and then Heidenreich should transition in next year. Speaking of that other goalkeeper, I had an offer for him for seven. It got it up to seven million dollars. I accepted it. It was right over his value, and the board refused to sell him. They get this seven million dollar value, seven million dollar offer or thereabouts, and they said we should get seventy seven million dollars for him at a minimum for a thirty three year old goalkeeper. I immediately transfer listed him for seventy seven million dollars, and uh, all I got was crickets. And if you are from another country and don't understand what the American terminology of crickets means, this is crickets. silence. We did not get a single offer. Nobody. They didn't even laugh. It was so far-fetched. And I looked at the board and went, hey, what are you doing? I tried to convince them and they still shut me down. And that's the part I think Marcelo Bielsa might have said, I think I'm going to leave here, guys. But I'm not leaving. Not, not on the first offense. There was a second offense. We'll talk about that during the match. Uh, getting into our other moves. This was our big signing, Constantine Carabella from Vitoral from $3.6 million. He is a right winger. Uh, you can see he has not played any, only one cup match off the bench, but he's played five Euro Cups. So he is doing okay there. Not bad. He's got very, very good physicals, solid work rate. Remember with Bielsa, I'm going to be looking for work rate, stamina, uh, it won't be a be-all, end-all, I mean, if I find a good player, but those are some things specifically to Bielsa that I think he, he would want in a player is work rate and, uh, and stamina to be able to go. So very good physicals, decent work rate, and uh, very good passer of the ball, and he can actually cross and dribble. So I kind of like him out there. Only 20 years old from Romania. Then we brought in a new striker in Carlos Vera from Michelin, $2.3 million. And you can see here, one goal in three matches. He scored on his debut, and he's got two goals and an assist in his two cup matches. Very good physicals. Uh, stamina, again, very good. Pace, acceleration is through the roof. Uh, work rate is solid. Off the ball movement. He can pass, good technique. And what I liked about this guy, I have never, to my knowledge, I have never had a striker in football manager with that kind of flair. So very interesting. He can dribble, solid finishing. So I like him. Three goals in five matches since joining the club. 
Uh, Radu Stroika comes in from Vera Zadine, $750,000. Uh, I needed a left back, so he was going to challenge, but then he became our reserve left back because of another move. But he can also play all three back line positions. And he can play attacking winger on the left, which means he could probably play winger on the left mid. Can't really play central. He's only 5'9", 7 heading. So not going to play him there, but he could play both left and right back, even though he's left-footed. He could do a job over there if we needed him to. Decent enough crossing, actually higher than some of the guys that we have. Marking, tackling, so more of a defensive, but he uh, does have that uh, ability to pass a little bit and dribble a little bit without, you know, like falling over on himself. So he's going to be depth on the bench. Andre Biraku from Shakhtar, we got him in on loan. He was the new guy that came in that I went, okay, he's probably going to be our starting left back. And again, he can play all those left side positions that we have. Very good physically, stamina, work rate, uh, all the things that I look for. Better at passing, dribbling and crossing are just a touch better, and he's got really good technique as well. So a couple of left backs to just give us some depth there and competition for the position. Rares Marar from Desna, 675000 He's 6'2", and again, uh, as we find with a lot of players here uh, in Europe, uh, at least the smaller countries in Europe, below a 10 in heading. He's not great, more depth, but he's not bad. He's not bad. I mean, he's got solid mentals across the board, solid physicals across the board. Uh, tackling and marking are very good. He can pass the ball. So, you know, he could even be a ball playing defender more so than most of the people on our team. And he can cross, so he can fit in at that right back slot. And the last player we brought in on a free, this was at, both of these were transfer deadlines. Biralov, we had the loan a couple of days early, but he waited till the last minute. So these guys we took a gamble on. We saw that he wasn't the best. This guy we got on a free. He's not horrible. Two and a half star, center back, six foot six. Still only a nine heading, but he does have 18 jumping reach, so that's interesting. I don't know, maybe, hmm, jumping reach, heading. Maybe he would be a force on corners, something to think about. Uh, not the paciest, but he does have some good stamina, work rate, tackling, marking are solid. Uh, decent enough heading, you know, similar to what we have already. Simple short passes, make, marks opponents tightly, stays back at all times, avoids using the weaker foot. So those are his uh, center back traits. I was trying to think of the word, and it was right there. Uh, but anyway, those are the new players, and he has yet to make his debut, but uh, three, non, three matches for our B team and playing a seven. And speaking of, B teams are weird. I don't play with those a lot. <laughs> so I did make a comment uh, when you go to the match and I'll show you where I'm talking about. But if you're if you if you think about when you play or when you watch, when you go to the match screen and it shows the overview of the two teams, it used to give you the weather and the odds. It doesn't give you the odds anymore, but you can still find those here on this this pre preview email that comes into your box. So you can see that we are the favorites here. We've actually got nine players called up for international duty, so that's going to be interesting. And with all the transfers, we did spend a good bit of money, so we lost seven hundred thousand for the month, but we still have thirty-two point seven million in the bank. So I think we're doing okay. Wanted to take a look at this because this is the new uh, performance analyst report that this uh, game has. So basically, it gives you four grids for off attacking and defense. And it tells you, um, on, on defense, it tells you what the grids are if you're in it. So we're the solid white dot. So what, what this tells is we are quiet and impenetrable. So the farther down into this corner, the more quiet, the more impenetrable you are. So this club right here, Carpati Lviv, is kind of a middle of the road team. They press offsides trap maybe 
but we're quiet. We don't have a lot of action in our end, and we don't give up a lot of goals. So if you gave up a lot of goals, you'd be up in this corner. Uh, this would be you know wide open. On the offensive side, it's the opposite. This is aggressive clinical. You could be clinical and passive. You could be open and, uh, you know. So worst offensive team is metal. And we're right up here in aggressive and clinical, scoring a lot of goals and being aggressive and attacking. So I think that's, uh, that's an interesting graph just to kind of look at. The board is pretty happy with me, a B overall. Uh, fans are giving me a C plus on transfers. Uh, Ponomarev, it, they're disappointed in the finances. And then, of course, with the uh, first defeat, they're disappointed in that as well. Locker room has shaped up a little bit, uh, so we're doing pretty well there. And I've tweaked the tactics a little bit. I have brought in a 4-3-3 uh, with one up top, defensive mid. We're still learning that, though, so we're not going to play that. And then the first two, uh, this is the 4-4-2 uh, four 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 two with the attacking wings and a 4-4-2 four four uh, diamond uh, in the mid. This is what we've been playing, so we're going to keep going with that. We're going to be looking at Zublov and Vera up top, Camps at the number 10. So that gets our three top scorers on the field at one time. Tarashenko and Kravatsyuk on the wings. Mark Makarov in the defensive mid. Uh, do I want him there? Is this the new guy? Yes, he's only made the one appearance. So he's the lone guy. So we're going to bring him on for his first start. Birakov, uh, Radinov, Izev, and Stoika. Stoika, I believe, is also new. Is he not? I could be misremembering that. He's relatively new. He's got five five starts. And uh, I want Heidenreich in for this because this is a league match. Let's get to it. All right. We are kicking off, and we are in the white. First highlight goes to us, potentially. Knocked away. All right. Good job by the midfielder there. Privostyuk, and he loses the ball again, and they have a counter opportunity here. Nice ball down, but Izev cuts it off and gets it going back the other way. Privostyuk up the right side, a blast of pace there, into the box, lays it off, and he gets the rebound and puts it in at the near post. Looks like they're going to be looking for an offsides. He may have come from an offsides position there, and that's what I think the call is going to be. They are going to disallow the goal. And VAR does confirm that. Oh, that's disappointing. And I think that's what happened. He just ran into the... Oh, look at that. No, that's bullshit. They measured it from the time that he kicked the ball. Oh, that's not a good call. That's not a good call. It has to be after the rebound, after the shot, not after the, not after the deflection. I don't know. Oh well, we're gonna demand more. There's one into the box. Oh, what a save by their keeper! Oh, he was at a full stretch on that. Oh my goodness. They play a set piece backwards. That's interesting. Dangerous position here. Oh, a little flick on header. That is dangerous. And we get the clearance. That's going to set up a corner. Come on, boys. Focus in. Focus in. Right into Heidenreich's hands. He makes the save. Knocked away. Makarov, nice. There's a little outlet plat pass. A lot of space for uh, Krivatsik. Oh, he beats the winger, and he's going to be all the way down into the box again. And he tries to go near post by himself, but he took it the length of the pitch. That was actually pretty nice. 
Let's demand more again. Header out. Vera's on the ball. Oh, look at that little flare. Oh, look at the pass back into him. Laid in. Oh, good deflection. That was a little unlucky. Come on, boys. And it's nil-nil at the half. Uh, we're going to go hands in pockets. Um, we've been the better team. And we'll see what that does. I want to encourage them now. Birikov is not playing well. We're going to keep an eye on that. Oh, I think he got his hands on that. I think that was a legit save. Tell you what, he is not looking good. We are going to pull him off. Yep. Both my wingers. Oh, my goodness. And he's on a yellow. All right, we're going to bring on Fodor and Marar. Let's do that. Come on, boys. Demand more. Uh, I should have probably brought off another player. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, nice ball out to Kravatsyuk. And a big tackle sends it out of play. They are going to, there could be a penalty here. Possible slide through on that tackle. He's going over to the telly. What's the call? I didn't think it was a penalty, but it is a penalty. All right. And it is going to be Makarov. Very good placement with that. We had <laughs> Vera, who's very good. He takes penalties pretty well, but he he took a penalty in one of the games in the interim, and he just blasted it, and it went right off the post. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. So that's good. All right, we're going to go. Man, he is dying, but it's. I need to wait about five more minutes. All right, now we're going to do it. All right, we want to do Fidrich or Caraballa. Caraballa is the guy that we brought in. He's got a lot of pace. Fidrich, he's got, he has got a ton of pace. 30 years old. But you know what? I want to bring Caraballa on for him. Let's get Caraballa. I think this will be his debut. And I also, while we're in here, 76 minute, let's slow the pace down. And you know what? I am gonna I'm gonna take that off and let him mix it up. Because he is a sweeper keeper. I want I want a little more playmaking there. And we have an injury. After I had just made my third sub, a foot injury. Shit. All right, what are we going to do? All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop him back into the mid. We're going to drop him to a number 10. All right, we are going to... We're going to bring Izev up to this defensive mid spot, and then we're going to condense all three of these guys can play center back. Now... We want we want to force the opposition in instead of out. So that's something new, these little arrows. So we're going to change our defensive width to channel into our back three rather than going around our back three. Yeah, well, I can't take him off, can I? So... I can't take him off, can I? Well, if I can, that's going to change things. 
Oh, Stoika's already out. Son of a bitch. Um, hmm. Actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Tell you what, let's let's cancel all these then. I didn't realize I can make a fourth save in the event of an injury. Or maybe I can just make four saves and didn't realize it. Alright, so you're going to go there. You're going to go there. Now, who's this other guy I just brought in? That's this guy, right? Marar. Let's swap those guys. Mid-right, mid-left. Yeah, cool. All right. I didn't realize we could do that. I am happy with that. Very happy. Is that a rule that you, if you have an injury, you can make additional subs due to injury? Oh, that's that's an astounding uh, occurrence. Oh, he pinged that from range. It's only one goal, but we'll take it. Sadly, we had to get a penalty for it, and please don't give one up here. Uh, easily onto that ball, Heidenreich. He might record another clean sheet here. If we have throw it long, why why is he kicking it? And Zub, oh my goodness. Another full extension from German, their keeper. Another big save. We've had some good opportunities. I haven't paid any attention to the XG. And we'll take the win at 1-0. 2.15 to 0.61. We probably should have scored another one, maybe even two. Uh, I am going to point my finger, and that wasn't good enough. We'll have to do better. But we get the win. We get three points. We're sitting on 20 and still in third position. So that is good. Old ankle ligaments for Makarov. He's out two to three weeks. 11 key passes. We're going to put our arm around him. That'll boost his morale a little bit. And we have a 14-day gap to our next match. So let me get to that. We'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, we're back for the second match. Uh, here's our lineup, Vera and Zub Zublov up top, Tereshenko, Krivatsyuk on the wings, attacking wings, Kamzyuk and Mazarenko in the mid, Stoika, Radinov, Bidnyi, and Tereshenko on the back line, and Heidenreich in goal. Uh, do I want him? Yeah, I think I want to do that. I'm going to move him into a sweeper-keeper support role, and we'll go that route. Also... I'm going to put work into box back on just to see if that gives us any better chances. We'll take a look at it in the first half, see what that does. And if we see some issues, then we will address it at halftime or sooner if we just don't see anything happening. Let's give them some early encouragement. And we are in white if we ever have a highlight. We have had a shot on target. Two shots, both on target, but no highlights. All right, yep, I'm going to turn that off. Let's turn that off. Now, this, this club that we're playing, Zoria, I forgot to look at where they're at in the table. Oh, and it is going to be a Zoria highlight. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, good outlet ball out towards the side where Vera can run it down. And he's taken down in the box, and it's a penalty. But he runs right to the spot. Oh, the Zoria players are not happy. They are double-checking it with VAR. No penalty! Oh, come on. I think we got jobbed there. I think we got jobbed. And nothing happening here. Wow. 
Well, we end up with six shots, all six on target. Just not anything in the way of chances. Um, what are we going to do here? We're going to uh, pump our fist again. Uh, hands on hips. We can still win this. I think I want to do that one. I think my assistant manager was a little harsh. All right. Who are we playing? It's Zoryev. So they're in seventh position. Let's demand more. Come on. All right. I am going to change up tactically. We're going to drop into this tactic. Now, Mazarenko is not a number 10. Kamziuk. We're going to go there, and then we're going to put Camps in at number 10. And Tarashenko. Let's bring on... Kaczynski, I think that's right. Oh, look at the pace on this 18-year-old kid. 17 pace, 16 acceleration. Man, that's a blazer. Just a blazer. All right, it's going to be their highlight. Oh, he beats our defender. Oh, come on. That was offsides. No, no, no. Bullshit. Yuri Vogel. I saw the, uh, the side judge running up. They gave him credit. Oh, that's... No, he was onsides. Jeez, what a move. What a move. All right, we're going to have to uh, berate the entire team. There's a header, that, and now I wish I could call that back. I should be able to cancel that. Hello? <laughs> Come on. They just get a goal off the set piece, and I'm going to berate them. It's Zubla, Zubkov, our striker, sixth goal of the season. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, that worked out. At least we're going to draw here, possibly. There's a good pass in. Can we hold him? Oh, my God. He got skinned. Good save by Heidenreich. Going to be a corner. Come on, boys. Um, I think Vera's not playing well. All right. What I'm going to do here is we are going to put him in and then we're going to move camps up top and I'm going to reverse these two guys all right that one goes over it's going to be a goal kick let's encourage them let's not be all negative Nelly here can we steal one here no can they steal one here? Possibly. We don't have anything time-wasting going on. Play it through. Come on. Find a pass. Oh, taken down. But he gets to the ball. Good hustle. There's a cross. It's a header by Zubkov. That's his second of the game, seventh of the season. Brilliant header. Wow. And we might steal this one. It was a good job by Kravatsiuk to get back out there after the tackle and just played it right back outside the six-yard box. And Zublov dropped back. Brilliant header. And they just made a triple sub in the 94th minute. Can I do a sub? Just out of, because we've done three, right? Who's my dead guy? Krivatsyuk. Vidrich? My God, how many subs can I do? Do we have unlimited subs? Or is that broken? Oh, no! 
And it's Yuri Vogel. His second of the game. And we get done. Oh, my God. Radinov. Oh, that is... And that was... Oh, that was in the 95th minute with four minutes of stoppage time. Play it through. Play it through. Oh, that wasn't a good attempt there, boys. Come on. Are we going to have unlimited time to go with our unlimited subs? Are we going to throw a yellow card on this guy for stalling and time delay? Oh, that was brutal, man. What the hell was that? Not a bad game offensively. Defensively, we needed to do a lot better. I am going to aggressive and, yep, motivated. That's fine. I want to go in. I want to go in here and look at rules because the subs are now freaking me out. I mean, I want to take advantage of this, right? If it's something that we can do, Premier League rules. We don't usually look at these because usually it's pretty self-explanatory. Substitution rules. Five from... Oh, this is the... Uh, this is kind of what the Premier League went to last year, right? The five from nine, but only three stoppages. Ah, so if we do our regular subs at 60 minutes with two players, 80 minutes for a third player, that's only two stoppages and three subs, so we could still bring two more on. Oh my gosh, that's... I gotta file that one away. Gotta file that one away. Oh boy. All right, well, I'll deal with this off camera. Uh, competition, so the draw keeps us on 21 points. Just one off the pace of Dynamo Kiev. And, uh, yeah, so we're doing well. Remember, we're only expected to a top half, so eighth or better. So not like we have a lot of breathing room. Only three points separate us from second and eighth. So we have to keep our, but we do have a game in hand. Uh, Ingolitz has two, but uh, so we could potentially go, well, they have a game in hand as well. All right, well, never mind. So where do we come back? I think I come right back, mainly because we we screwed up the recording. So we'll come back for uh, Tranmere. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to come back for, let's do double cup. We'll come back for Gimmick in the cup second round. And then we'll play Ingolitz off camera. And then we'll play Tranmere in the return away leg, which will start the second round of the, uh, of the group stage. So let's do that. So we'll be right back uh, just a couple of matches down the road. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't done so or if you're new to the channel, which, by the way, welcome. And as I am wont to do, I believe I got another new subscriber. John Kane, I think I gave him props the, yesterday. But, uh, well, John Kane and Avoiding Relegation came on yesterday. I think I did put that, but I don't know if it was in this series or not. So welcome to the channel, guys. Uh, and I look forward to hearing from you down in the comments. Have a good one. Bye.